Hello everybody, Chatty Dad One. <clears throat> okay, this is Noahide Laws Part Two. Um, this is from Congressman Bill Dunnemeyer, and uh, I, I I don't know what went on with my computer on the last one. It ab it stopped and stopped my recording and everything. I don't know what the deal is there. It's never done that before weird but anyway he's trying to uh, tell everybody what what happened um, there in Congress and what these Noahide laws are and uh, you know what is the specification specific language of these seven Noahide laws. Who drafted the seven Noahide laws and where did they come from? When were the seven Noahide laws drafted? Who defines what the seven Noahide laws mean? What is the penalty for violating them? Well, it's death. Who would, will administer them? Rabbinical courts. Okay. Um, this is the specific laws: um, civil justice, prohibition of blasphemy, which includes bearing a false witness or talk of Jesus Christ, um, the abandonment of idolatry, the prohibition of incest, including adultery or sexual offenses. Um, anybody that gay or lesbian anything like that any kind of deviation other than what they believe it to be will be killed also that of theft the law against eating flesh a limb cut from a living animal um, these all come from uh, the Talmud and the Old Testament and what these rabbis think that they mean these Shademic um, you know this, this sect of, of Jewish religion now if this isn't against you know the freedom of religion I don't know what is And uh, these people are definitely part of the New World Order. They are deeply seated in banking system and uh, a lot of stuff. Okay, this is, uh, you know, who drafted them. identifies uh, Babylonian Talmud as a source of the Noahide laws. Jews may steal from non-Jews. Jews may rob and kill non-Jews. Jews may lie to non-Jews. It's just like the extreme Muslim thing, you know, where they believe that, you know, if you're an infidel, you're a slave or you can be killed you know that your life is is meaningless and uh, I, I basically looked into it pretty good and you know I don't see how they don't give a clear definition answer to whether you can even become uh, you can even be in their little group you know I, I don't know I never got a definite answer on that I mean I looked pretty much pretty deep but you know this is pretty extensive he does a good job in digging deep on all this stuff where it comes from 
and who's behind it okay and uh, why they got up in there in Congress and honored this old rabbi and accepted these laws is beyond me I mean this is just bizarre and they don't want this stuff to be known about I mean this is what's behind all the beheading of Christians and all this stuff this is what's behind it this is why okay this is why you're all wondering I was wondering I didn't understand it but this is why now this is the this is the old rabbi um, and like I say they have their finger on the pulse of the president with her and Barack you can make um, I don't know if it said you can make history I messed up on that screen so shot I apologize and all my stuff my computer crashed after doing half this stuff so I you know it's, it's hard to even go back to all this stuff but um, I mean see Obama's like in there with him man he, he's backing him as far as I can see And see, I, I tried to do a uh, search of what they meant by biblical Israel. And this is what they're talking about. Look at this. This is the land that they want. This is what they say Obama agrees with them on. This entire piece of land. Not the little bit that they're on now. This. This. The golden wedge of the Middle East there okay not this little piece that they're on right now this y'all and this is why the wars are going on and stuff future Israel see that see this I mean uh, and people have no idea there's Christian churches giving money to these people you've got to stop doing that you're funneling money to these people that want to kill us this has got to stop you've got to tell them to stop this let them make their own money let them do this themselves we can't pay our executioner I mean I, we have we have been all this time and not even known it we have no idea what the truth is behind this stuff and it's all you know hidden in secrecy and cloaked in mystery but we've got to get the truth out there I never understood why people were saying the Zionist Jews and this and that and uh, oh yeah if you make anti-semitic remarks you're going to be in big trouble too you can see that they're targeting people that make anti-semitic remarks if you say anything that conflicts with the number that they state was killed in the uh, concentration camps then you're an anti-semite I mean there's a lot of things you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't think this anti-semitism but they say that this is the definition for anti-semitism I mean this thing goes deep y'all it really does and we've got to let people know what what's the deal what's behind all this stuff because it hasn't got anything to do with what we think it is not one bit these people are powerful 
and uh, they have influence and a lot that's going on here I hope everybody will le read into this stuff some because uh, like I said we've got to get the truth out we've got to know about it you guys need to do some research on it, it was, it's a real eye-opener I hope everybody's well and do your research on this stuff. You can find it. It's not easy to find, but it's out there. I hope everybody's well. God bless and good luck to us all. Jesus Christ is Lord and King and Savior of us all, whether we know it or not. He loves us all, and He cru was crucified for all of us. Not just some, but for all of us. For all of us. Even these people. Even these people. So, prepare as much as you can. You guys can see the writing on the wall. Love your family and friends as much as you can. And be good to each other. Never give up your guns. Because your rights go right with them. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless, good luck to us all, over and out.